And welcome back. Yeah, we're gonna try this shit again. <laughs> what if you could like run across the water? And this would be called Cheating? Legend of Jesus. Isn't that what the Bible is? What? Isn't that what the Bible is? I think so, yeah. The legend, the legend of Jesus. When he, he jumps into the water for the first time and starts walking on it, he just goes, Huh! Huh! <laughs> Stand next to this block and grab it with A. We're holding. Oops, sorry. I think from now on, anyone watching, when it says um, hit A or hit B or hit a specific button, mm -hmm. Let's try and replace it with the word penis. Okay. So, press penis, is that what you mean? Ugh, it sounded funnier in my head. It sounded a lot funnier. A lot funnier. Press B to grab your destiny? Yeah. You're supposed to. Oh, this is enough. If you um, haven't watched uh, Star Bombs. You know, Game Grumps, they do that. Legend of Zelda, it's dangerous to go alone and take this. I think if you just YouTube that, then you should uh, watch it, because it's fun. Understand 90% of the jokes we tell. Like, I don't get it. So the other day, um, we had gone to... Uh, we actually moved to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So now we're up here now. Now we're Youpers. Well, you always have that. Yeah, I always have that. I married into Youper. Into, into you. Um, we started playing this game called Munchkin, which is like this card game. And I want to play more of it. It was very, very fun. And it made for this great so comedy. How do you know which one's which? What are you talking about? What the fuck are those things? Those are the Goma eggs. Really? It's easier to kill them now because otherwise they, they fall and land on the ground and then you have to fight the stupid baby things. Come on, you son of a bitch. I'm just gonna waste all my ammo, I guess. Maybe you gotta get a skosh a bit closer. See what I mean? Oh, yeah! Man, it's been a while since I played this. <clears throat> that's, I think that's what makes it fun, though. You know, when you relive stuff. Because I've been playing, like, Mega Man and some of my... What I plan on doing here in the coming weeks, too, I want to play, um, do some four-player. My brothers are actually coming up from uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Did you notice this? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Did you notice that that's a bombable wall? I'll have to remember that because after I get my bombs, I'll have to come back. No. I am intrigued. The more you know. Boo -dee -doo -dee. I wonder what's back there. Do you think the great Deku tree can feel pain? Like, like feel you running around inside him and burning shit? Yeah. Probably, it probably feels like heartburn. Hmm. Good point. But I mean, he's the, the giant tree living with, with live torches inside of him, so. Okay. Shame on him. Probably gets indigestion every once in a while. But he's a plant. Plants don't really shit themselves. <laughs> no, but it'd be really funny if he did. Do you think a bunch of little plants little plants would grow behind him if he did? Uh, I would have to have to clean them after the, camp, the great Deku tree. And what's that? Do you think that um, there's like winter in Hyrule? Like, do they go through the four seasons, or is it like California, where it's? I don't know, but you know that's a really cool um, thought of something that the Zelda universe. Well, I guess they have explored it because, like in Twilight Princess, you have the the um, snowboarding thing in the Yeti house. Yeah, like I that. love that game. I'm actually uh, in the 
process of uh, getting a copy of it, but, but I don't want to get it on Wii, I want to get it on GameCube, so. I like when he falls and goes, <laughs> I can't do the voice, but. Yeah, I can't either, apparently. Apparently. 23 is number one. I now understand what that crazy Deku scrub was telling me. Hey, hey, hey. How did you know our secret? How irritating! <laughs> I imagine the Dekus can reproduce. Do you think that it's like plants though? Like where they just shed seeds and then more Deku scrubs grow? That could very well be. Or do you think they're like salmon plants where they lay their seeds and then the other Deku scrubs swim upstream to <laughs> fertilize them? Or Am I getting a little, a little, this is getting a little too thin out, thinned out now? Maybe they're like, yeah, maybe they're like praying mantises where they the nose off or something. And I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. is that? <laughs> Queen Goma! That one, that one, I think a couple years ago or something, you wanted to go as that for Halloween. I did. Well, yeah, taking him down. So the goal is to not even let her climb the walls of Lady Eggs. That's like the best way to go about it, but unfortunately I screwed that up. There we go. Oh shit, you got it. Gotta kill that spider. Damn. Yeah! That's how you fucking do it already. <laughs> that was cool. And that's what happens when you play this game too much. <laughs> do, 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 do. I wonder if there's a, a, a playthrough of this game where people don't get the hearts. I was just thinking that. Like, I wonder how <laughs> crazy you'd have to be to not take the heart pieces. You'd have to be so skilled later on in the game to... Just go through three hearts the entire yeah, game. To, to beat the whole game with only three hearts. Because, like, in the very first Legend of Zelda for the NES, people will go through the entire game and not get the sword. That's crazy. Yeah. Do they get the other weapons? Yeah. Okay. But not the sword. It, it adds a level of difficulty. Like, I, th I think. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I always thought that that part was his mustache. It kind of mm. looks like a mustache. Mm. It isn't? Well, that's what I thought. I think I it know. is. I think he's got big bushy eyebrows and a big Walter Matthau mustache. Or a Tom Selleck stash. Ooh, yeah, even better. Selleck stash? Yeah, I'll listen, I guess. <laughs> or tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, seriously, don't be a dick. I'm dying. I'm dying. A wicked man of the desert. I got you juice when you were six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're in hell, apparently. Oh, that's Ganondorfer. Fire and lightning. He gets one hell of an entrance. I guess... I don't understand. This is a concept that comes up way, way, way later in the game, so spoiler alert! But Ganon, Ganondorf, excuse me, is the one man out of the Gerudos who's born every hundred years, right? Right. How do they reproduce? He has sex a lot. Yeah, but in a hundred years? Yep. All of the, like, the whole generation of children he would have created would be dead by the time another male was born. Probably. So he could only be half Gerudo, realistically. 
Maybe. Is Link like half Kokiri, half? No, Link is. Um. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. This game's been out for years. If, <laughs> if you're saying, stop spoiling it for me. Ferrer, Ferreror? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I've always pronounced these wrong. Din's the only one that I know I'm pronouncing right. Din. Because it's Din. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Got it. Din. How do you say that wrong? Dot. Dot. Now that would be with N with an E. Mm hmm. Din. Din. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. You know, there's actually a, a religion that people follow. They follow this exact... Nehru? Really? Yep. I don't know. It's, it's... it's called Zeldaism? I think that, like, that and the whole Jedi as a real religion thing, that's yeah. just nerds reaching a little too far. And I'm a nerd, so I'm, I'm, I mean, no disrespect to the nature of things that we enjoy socially, but you can't possibly center your whole existence around a video game. Or something so, Like a video game backstory. Yeah, or something that's super fictitious. Somebody made it up. Yeah. I don't know. Some Japanese dude did it. So, thank you, Shigiri, for doing a good job. Yeah. Making people believe in the something. The Emoto-san. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm... No, I'm stopping right yeah, there. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> nope, don't, nope do it. don't do it. That so there's this stupid love. backstory on how the entire Earth was created. Yeah, now we know how the Earth was created. But I didn't see anything about Jesus. <laughs> And Jesus flies through the Triforce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Jesus could fly, but... This part is so very sad. Yeah. Because you... You know, you're like, Oh, I'm gonna save the day. I got you, Deku Tree. I'm coming in. And you go in there, and you kill the bad guy, and you're like, Yeah, I saved the Deku Tree. And then he's like, Great job. I'm dying anyway. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's it's still cool. Yeah. Go now to Hyrule Castle and pick me up a pack of smokes. <laughs> <laughs> and take this weed with you. I shan't be needing it in the next life. Watch instead of bringing it to a specific place, he fucking pawns it. <laughs> Look, pawns I got it. some magic beans. <laughs> pawns it for beer money. Yeah. You know, in Hyrule, the legal drinking age is eight. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Kokiri's Emerald is really pretty, too. Thou art courageous. Let's, yeah, let's just get through this. I entreat ye, Navi. Zelda is your... Goodbye. Sorry. Wrong game. Don't worry, Deku Tree. We'll avenge your death next time. <laughs> next time. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 2. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah. Come we'll back, like, comment, subscribe. Share this on your Twitter or Facebook. Do it.